Hi everyone, this is Professor Dawn and I thought I would do this announcement in video format because I think it's good to get information through multiple channels. You have already received grading feedback from me as written feedback and I've actually spoken to some of you on the phone and through email. So I am here to help and I've always would rather have a phone call than you cycling through a question uh, for hours. So let's just before we talk about activity number three, I just wanted to quickly talk about activities one and two. The first one you were to look at uh, a system, right? A system in your own life, a small system, right? Whether it's getting a cup of coffee, commuting to work, or going for a run. And the wonderful thing about that is a lot of you shared with me that it was so much more complex than you thought it would be, right? And the reason why we're doing that is we wanted to build a strong foundation of knowledge with systems thinking so that when you are building the global performance management system or the global learning management system, you have that foundation of knowledge. So with this network configuration model, we're certainly not saying build the network configuration model for Amazon, we are saying, look at it for two specific examples. And I'm gonna share my screen and we're going to look at the prompt. So read these carefully. You know, sometimes there's pieces left out in your assignment. Um, and unfortunately I can't get points if it's expected and it's, it's not there. So make sure you read through this uh, at a detail level, but also understand the whole overview, right? Like, what are we doing here? We want you to understand the basic network terminology and the rationale, right? It's important. When you understand the rationale for things, I know that you understand the terminology, right? So the rationale for specific network configurations. We gave you two scenarios. And, you know, some of these you have to fill, fill in the gap. So let's take a look at Justin Alta, right? So I'm gonna to go to Visio uh, and I'm going to build a new model, right? So I'm gonna do a new model and I'm gonna do detailed network, network diagram, right? Because this one will probably have all of the shapes that I need. So I come here and again, let's think about Justin. Well, the first thing we need is a digital camera. Right, so let's say Jason is, he is a photographer and is on assignment in, in Africa photographing giraffes. How exciting would that be? So the first thing he has, he has his digital camera. So let's bring that there. Well, is Jason gonna be bringing his big desktop computer with him? I don't think so. So the next thing in my mind is he is going to be bringing a laptop computer. So that comes here too as well. And you can see, you know, the shapes are there, but I could also uh, search for them. So now I need a connector. I can search for connectors and I could decide which connector I need. So again, everything you do here, you are letting me know what it does, why it's important in the diagram and why you chose that specific connector or why you chose this specific configuration. So again, the important thing here is really this foundation of knowledge, because once you have that strong foundation, you can continue to grow. Um, I am here to help. Um, and I hope you are enjoying learning in IT 200. Thank you.